afternoon. I sat down last night at my computer to go through the documentation of my Ford Focus ST170 to produce a little video on the history on that car. And I got to thinking, I wonder how many Focuses were taken off the road during the scrappage scheme of 2009. Then I found a spreadsheet and things escalated quite rapidly. The scrappage scheme was introduced in 2009, basically to stimulate the economy because car sales were down. So the government decided that they'd copy Germany, Italy and France and introduce a scheme whereby you could bring your old car to a car dealership. The government would give a fixed £1,000 and the car dealership would match it, giving you £2,000 off the price of a new car. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share with you what I found when I went through the government's scrappage scheme data. Now, before we start, a few caveats. Um, the data is DVLA data, so it has a lot of spelling mistakes in it. There's cars that are listed slightly wrong, so I've done my very best to clean this data. I have genuinely sat and gone through 26,000 lines of data. I have ended up with 97 different car manufacturers and 954 different car makes and models. There's different ways you can crunch these statistics, but this is how I've done it. So, I can sort my data in alphabetical order, which would tell me, for example, that AXAM lost four cars to the scrappage scheme. Alfa Romeo, on the other hand, lost 835. So there's a couple of videos and there's quite a bit of content to come out of this data because it's just there's so much to digest. So let's just do it this way. I'm going to hit you with the headline figures. I'm going to hit you with the real clickbait stuff because it's tragic. Um, it, 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 it's just the numbers are unbelievable. If I sort my manufacturer based spreadsheet by quantity of cars lost to the scrappage scheme, at the top, in first place, we have Ford. 74,040 Ford vehicles were taken off the road. Vauxhall, 47,000. Peugeot, 32,000. Volkswagen, 31,000. Nissan, 28,000. Renault, 27,000. Rover, 24,000. Toyota, 15,000. Fiat, 15,000. Citroën, 14,000. That's the top 10. Then you've got Honda, 10,000. Volvo, 10,000. BMW, 9,000. Mercedes-Benz, 6,000. It goes on and on and on. When you break those down by a model, however, you can spot the real big winners and the real big losers. Now, I think this is where it gets really, really interesting. When media outlets have picked up on this story, they've often highlighted the odd exotic car that has been traded in. Some people have talked about the amount of Porsches that were traded in. I'm not so interested in that because they are few and far between. There's ones and twos. However, when you take the picture as a whole, let's take, for example, the humble Ford Fiesta. 29,914 Ford Fiestas lost. 19,230 Vauxhall Corsas lost, 17,000 Micras, 16,000 Escorts, 15,000 Polos, 15,000 Astros, Astras, four, only one Astro actually, get on to that in a minute, 12,000 Peugeot 106s, 10,500 Volkswagen Golfs. It's just unbelievable. The sheer numbers are really, really hard to fathom. And as many people have said about the scrappage scheme, most of these cars would have been roadworthy. They would have driven to the dealership. And that's the great tragedy. Now, just to sort of spitball for a couple of minutes, look how that then skews the classic car industry as it is today. Let's take, for example, the Volvo 850. You know I love Volvo 850s. I know that most of you love Volvo 850s. I did a, I did a, a, um, a video not too long ago saying how many Volvos were left. Now, there was 1,500 Volvo 850s taken off the road throughout the scrappage scheme. And I can tell you for now, for free, that of those, about 60 were T5s. There was even one 850R. Imagine if those cars were on the road today. What would that do to the classic car market? You wouldn't be seeing these crazy classic car values that you've got now because the market is so skewed because so much of the market was removed in 2009. Let's get back to the headline figures again. I'm talking about all data, all models. So often a car will pop up for sale and we'll think, where did they all go? Well, this, this is largely the answer, you know? Ford Mondeo, 10,000. Peugeot 306, 10,000. 
Fiat Punto, eight and a half thousand. Ford KA, eight thousand two hundred. At the top of this sheet here, my top twenty lines are all mainstream, well-known cars that we all know and love and have known and love. Family cars, you know, your Vectras, your Almiras, your Primeras, your Lagunas, Peugeot four hundred sixes. Where it gets quite scary is when you break it down the other way and you say, what are the desirable cars that have gone as part of the scrappage scheme? Alfa Romeo lost 290 156s. They lost 95 GTVs, 39 155s, 24 164s. There weren't that many of them left by that point. They even lost 16 166s, and the 166 wasn't even that old in 2009. It gets worse. Audi lost 1,964 A4s, two of which were S4s. They lost one S3 and one S6. My figures say there's two Audi TTs. That's been reported. What hasn't? is the three Audi Coupes, the GTs, the Quattro-style GTs that were lost. It's difficult to drill down because of the way the data works into model by model by model when you get to specifics. However, there's 166 Audi 100s, gone, scrapped. 90 Audi Coupes. Where are those now? You can't find them to buy now. Well, 90 of them went here. I'm only at A. Austin Allegro, all right? We all like to, to joke about the fact that we hate the Austin Allegro. I wouldn't mind one if one popped up cheap. It would be fun to own. 679 Allegros scrapped. Running, driving, MOT'd. 161 Maestros. And these aren't MGs either. That's not an MG Maestro. I'm coming on to that. These are classic cars. They were classic cars in 2009. Austin, Van der Plaar, four. Ambassador, three. Princess, three. 1300, two. 1800, two. A55, two. Maxi, two. 1000, one. Princess, one. Three litre, A30, A35, A40, four each. Austin Healy, two. Healy Sprite, one. All of those are established classic cars. It, the, the, the data takes some crunching to really understand where we're at here. Um, and I, I, stay with me for the video because I'm going to go through it at the rate that you would probably go through the sheet anyway. BMW 3 Series, 6,500. 5 Series, 2,000. 7 Series, 282. Would you like to know how many of those were 740s and 750s? Because I can tell you. Bear with me while I scroll down to it. Right, on my spreadsheet, we're going all the way down to line... The BMW 7 Series starts at line 1,778. I've got about 50 728 eyes. I've got about 20 730 eyes. I've got about 30 735 eyes. 740 eyes, I've got about 40. I've got two BMW 750 ILs and I've got seven 750s. It's, it's just shocking. Eight series. Um, I've got two that are, are not listed as what model they were. I've got one as an 840. I've got two as 850s. I've got an Alpina B7. Two of them. I've got M models. I've broken down M models out of this as well. Just because cause I could. You ready for this? Three litre CSI. One. 535 M Sport. One. 635 CSI, 1, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 BMW 635 CSIs. 4 M535s. 3 M3s. 1 M5. So this is 2009. So if an M5 was scrapped in 2009, chances are you're talking about an E34. How much money are those these days? You can see why I've got so passionate about this, because it's just unbelievable. BMW 2002, there's a couple of those in there as well. Chevy Blazer, right? Let's say you wanted to go on eBay today and buy a Chevy Blazer. How many of them can you find for sale? Ten went in the scrappage scheme. 
Chrysler Neon, 250. I thought that was basically all of them. Um, the shocking ones are in the stuff that was that used to be so numerous. You know, Citroen Saxo, 5,000 gone. Citroen Synergy, another one I was talking about the other day, 100. Citroen XM, 87. BX GTI, 2. A Visa Convertible, 2. An AX GTI, 1. A GSA Palace, 1. And there's one that is just listed on the DVLA website as historic vehicle, a Citroen historic vehicle, traded in and scrapped. You'd be glad to know that all the Deu Lanoses and Matizes have gone, 3,000 between them. And the Esperos, I know there's a few people that like Deu Esperos, 181, gone. Daihatsu, Daihatsu suffered badly in the, uh, in the, in the purge of, of cars. Charade, 344, cool. 304, four track 300, sport track 204. It is just crazy. Right, going through the Ds. Daimler, double six, eight of them. Sovereign, three. Daimler six, long wheelbase, two. Daimler 250 V8, one. Daimler Super V8, one. Datsun. Yes, there's been a few Datsuns lost. Sunnies, Cherries and Bluebirds. Um, but there's also 280. That's the ZX, isn't it? Fiat Cinque Centos. 1,600. Fiat Puntos, 8,500. Fiat Seicentos, 1,000. That's all of them. That, that, that's literally all of them. Fiat Barchetta, left-hand drive only. Special car that you had to buy, especially. You had to really love that car to buy it because it only ever came in left-hand drive. But 33 people decided they weren't bothered and traded it in as part of the, the scheme. Do you remember the Fiat Bravo and Brava? I remember when those cars launched and they were due to save Fiat. 2,000 gone between them. On to Ford now. Ford is a big, big loser in this. Ford with the biggest loser with 74,000 vehicles lost. Of those, 29,000 were Fiestas. 16 and a bit thousand were Escorts. 10,000 were Mondeos. 8,000 were KAs. 3,500 were Focuses. 1,500 Transits. That's all right. I can live with that. All the Galaxies, all the Pumas, most of the Sierras, 325 Scorpios. All the Cougars, 314. All the Orions, 274. Every single Ford Maverick, 272. All the Probes, all the Granadas, and all the Explorers. 85 Escort GTIs. Ford P100s, that's the Sierra pickup truck, 41. Didn't even think 41 of those ever existed. Escort XR3i. 27. Fiesta XR2i, 24. Sierra XR 4x4, 6. Escort RS2000. This will be the four-wheel drive Mark 5, 6 one. Anyway, three of those. Um, Dorchester Limousine, that'll be a funeral car. 2. Escort RS Turbo, 2. Fiesta RS Turbo, 2. Ford Zephyr. Ford Zephyr was a 60s car. It was an established classic by then, two of them. Anglia, one. Consul, one. Corsair, one. Grosvenor, one. Hearse, just listed as a hearse, one. Mustang, one. Thunderbird, one. Gone. Stay with me if you want. Hillman Imp, four. Minx, three. Avenger, two. Hunter, two. Holden Barina. I don't even know what one is. Let's put a picture there. One of those. Um, all the Honda Preludes, all the Honda Civics, all the Honda Accords, all the Honda Shuttles. Most of the Honda Civic Coupes. Jaguar, XJ, 437. XJR, 14. XJS, 54. XJ, 12, 2. Do you like Jeep Cherokees? I bloody love Jeep Cherokees. Um, 496. Go on. Those are rare cars these days. 209 Grand Cherokees. 15 Larder Reavers. Where the hell did they find 15 Larder Reavers? They even found a Samara and um, two Nevers and a Cossack. Lancia. It's not on my spreadsheet here, but I know full well that one of them is an Integrale 16 valve because I saw it when I did the data. Freelander. I'm in a Freelander right now. 662. Discovery, 1,377. 400 defenders. 500. 
More like 600 Land Rover Defenders of various different types. One Land Rover that is just listed as a Land Rover Historic. Lexus. Lexus didn't do too well. LS400 and GS300 and IS200, 250 between them. There was a Lincoln Town car. Unbelievable. Mazda MX-5, almost a 1,000. 66 MX-6s. That was almost all of the MX-6s that were sold. Mercedes-Benz takes some digesting by itself because for some reason the way Mercedes-Benz list models is really difficult for me to really go in. But I can tell you that the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, S320, S foot, we're going back older as well. So there's some older engine S classes. There's S500s, there's S600s, there's even S600 long wheelbases. 122 S classes gone. Nine SLs, some of which were 500 SLs. Seven MLs, um, 2000 C classes, 2000 E classes. A G Wagon. Right, let's get back onto British stuff. You'd think, oh, the MG Midget and the MG MGB, those were established classics. No one would have traded one of those in against the new car. Wrong. 34 MGBs, 61 Midgets, 122 MGB GTs, 695 MGFs, 4 MG Maestros, 2 MG Montegos. Sorry, 5 MG Maestros. An MG Metro. Traded in. Two ran off against the new car. Mitsubishi, 3000 GT, three of. FTO Rally Art, two of. Nissan 200 SX, 57. There's a Nissan Laurel. There's four Nissan Laurels traded in. Here's a shocker. Nissan Skyline GT-R, one of. I would love to know the story behind that. Peugeot 106, 12,000. Peugeot 306, 10,000. Peugeot 406, 3,000. Peugeot 205, 2,549. And I can tell you that 34 of those were GTIs. 34 Peugeot 205 GTIs. 41 Peugeot 106 GTIs. 23 306 GTIs. There's even 505 GTIs in here as well. Five of them. I've got four Peugeot 106 rallies. There's a good reason no one's ever done the data on this. It's too much. Porsche. I know this has been touched on before. 53 944s. 45 924s. 3928s. That's 100 Porsches. Range Rover. 319 of them. That's okay. Reliant. Scimitar. 22. Rail Toes. Five. Um, 15,000 Renault Clios, all the Renault Espaces, and the Grand Espaces, 13 Renault Twingos. There weren't that many Renault Twingos in England in the first place. That's the early shape Twingo, left hand drive, France only, import only, 13 of them traded in. Rover, as you would expect, have suffered badly. But before I do that, let's do a Rickman Ranger, one. Four Riley Elfs and two Riley 1.5s. Again, established classics at the time. They must have been worth something. Rover 200 series, so that includes all the 200s, including some GTIs, Cabriolets, Coupes, everything. 10,000. 400 series, the same, everything. 7,000. 100 series, that's the Rover 100 and also Metro. I've put Metro in there as well. 3,000. 3,000 Metros, gone. 430. Rover 800 series cars. Do you remember I had one? First car on the channel. Second car on the channel. First car. Second car. Um, couldn't find one for love nor money. 430 here. And that's only the cars that are lifted as Rover 800. If it was listed as a Sterling, it comes separately. Unbelievable. GF. Rover P4 slash 100. That's the 50s car, isn't it? Late 50s. One of those as well. Uh, Rover SD1. Where is it? I know it's in here because there's about four of them. No, there's 20. 20 Rover SD1s. 10 Vitesses. Uh, Saab. Let's get on to Saab for a moment. Saab 900. 1,314. Saab 9,000, like Pablo. 570. Saab 93, 420. Saab 95, 358. 
It's raining now, so I apologise if the audio is getting ruined, but you might be bored by this point anyway. Sangyong, remember them? 72 Mussos, 23 Corandos. Subaru, Impreza, and I know there's turbos in here because I've seen them. 312. Subaru Brats, the pickup truck. The Subaru pickup truck, really rare. 26. Suzuki Cappuccino, another rare cool car. 15. Suzuki SJ, 63. X90, rare car. 47. Suzuki Samurai, 37. The weather agrees with me. Loads of taxis as well. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, Toyota Hilux, 187. All the space cruisers, all the land cruisers, all the space wagons. Triumph, Acclaim, 23. Spitfire, 22. Dolomite, 19. TR7, 19. TR8, 1. Herald, 18. Triumph, 2000, 7. Stag, 5. 1300, 2. 1500, 2. I feel like I'm reading out the football results. TVR S Series 1, 20,000 Vauxhall Corsas, all of the Vauxhall Tigras, all of the Fronteras, 632 Novas, quite a lot of Zafiras, but that's okay. Vauxhall Monterey, isn't that a pickup truck, 61 of those? It goes on and on and on. Vauxhall Eagle Quest Limousine, again, must be funeral cars, four of those. Vauxhall Polos, 15,000, Golfs, 10,000, Passats, 3,000, Golf GTIs, 649. VW Chirans, again, talking about those the other day, 401. Caddies, VW Caddy, 319. Some of those would have been pickup trucks. Carrados, 69. Caravelle, 57. That's camper vans. That's camper vans being traded in. Type 3 Fastback, 3. Three Type 3 Fastbacks. Jetta GTI, one. There probably only was one. Volvos. Let's touch on the Volvos just briefly. The Volvo data is quite difficult because it's all split out and it's a bit funny. But I can tell you that Volvo 940s, we've got a 1,000. There's a 1,000 Volvo 940s. There's a 1,000 Volvo 850s. 1,200 V40s. 1,200 S40s. 1,400 440s. That doesn't include where it says things like Volvo 800 series. That'll be an 850. There's another 70 there. Volvo 900 series, another 70. S40 or V40, they're not sure. 60. Volvo 700 series, you're talking 740s. 536 740s mentioned as 740 on the V5. And just mentioned a 700 series, another 50. Volvo 850 T5, 43. V70 T5. 27. V90, the luxurious estate, 21. C70 T5 GT, 3. 850 T5R, 1. 850R, 1. Finally, we're getting down to the end. Wolseley Hornet, 2. Wolseley 1500 and 16-60, one of each. And we'll finish off with my friend Alex's favourite car, a Yugo. Zastava Yugo, 12 of them. If you made it to the end of that video, just comment, unbelievable Jeff, in the comments. Just just let me know that you've made it to the end and, and that you're with me. Because it is truly unbelievable. When, when we, as, as classic car enthusiasts, look at the market today, and we look at what to buy, and we look on eBay, and we look on Marketplace, and we think, oh, I haven't seen one of those for ages. There's your answer. And what was it for? Many commentators have said that the £2,000 discount, 1000 from the government and 1000 from the manufacturer, was kind of nil anyway, because the car prices went up as a result of this. What we did find, though, was manufacturers not only contributed more to the scrappage scheme, um, they also extended it even further on. But again, what we were finding is the whole idea with the scrappage scheme was to take cars off the road that were old and polluting. But some of the best scrappage offers were on big things. I remember seeing one for something like a Toyota Land Cruiser V6 Petrol. And the scrappage scheme with your contribution and your car and the dealer contribution and everything was something like eight grand off the list price. So you're going to go trade in your old car that's been on the road forever for not only something that is brand new and has all been mined and, you know, manufactured all materials and that sort of stuff, but it's a gas guzzler anyway. All of these government schemes to get us to buy cars seem to be the same. We always seem to look at them retrospectively and say, ah, that was silly. 
So as we approach the half an hour mark on this video, I'd suggest that's just something to take on board if you're looking at changing your car and replacing your old one. So I'm going to go make a cup of tea now and edit this video. I'm going to drive home in my Land Rover Freelander, which I, I, I can pretty much say is a survivor because when it was 11 years old, the scrappage scheme happened. And thankfully, nobody traded it in. Bit of a shocking video, isn't it? It's left me feeling all cold. Definitely in need of a cup of tea. But um, thanks very much for watching what was actually a tragedy unfolding. Cheers.